Welcome back. Iraqi government troops are reporting an important breakthrough in their battle to reclaim the city of Mosul from Islamic State. But as the conflict intensifies, humanitarian organizations are voicing their concern over the fate of tens of thousands stranded there. The Red Cross reports that over 25,000 people have been forced to take shelter at a refugee camp after being displaced by the conflict. However, thousands more in Mosul are still under threat. Kevin Owen spoke earlier with the Red Cross president, Peter Moore. Despite all the efforts uh, uh, of responding with water, with health, with food and shelter services, uh, the uh, situation in the camps uh, is not easy. I must say that uh, I have to uh, appreciate uh, the efforts which have been uh, taken by the Kurdish uh, Peshmergas, by uh, the Iraqi government, to ensure that civilians, civilian infrastructures, medical facilities are protected. Mm. But of course, this is uh, not necessarily uh, the case uh, on all sides of the front lines. So it is, as in many other conflicts, uh, a big challenge. We're talking about maintaining the safety of medics, trying to do their best to, to help people on the front line there. Across the border in Syria, that Russian mobile hospital in Aleppo was uh, bombed by rebels in December. Two medics died. What's your response to that attack and how likely are the perpetrators to face justice, do you think, sir? Well, of course, we are uh, always uh, sorry and we uh, expressed our condolences to uh, those uh, uh, Russian nurses which have been uh, killed in the attack. And our position has been clear in principle uh, whether it is in Syria in any other place of the world that uh, medical facilities in conflict need absolutely to be protected and uh, of course we uh, we condemn many attack on medical facilities wherever uh, wherever they happen it is essential that medical doctors medical facilities can operate in conflict and can assist and protect people uh, assist people with medical services in a neutral and impartial way.